what's going on everybody? It's Ryan Steuben here with HardcoreCloser.com and I'm just going to take you through a really quick uh, exercise, screencast, whatever you want to call it, where I show you how to create a group on Facebook and how to adjust some uh, settings or whatever the case may be. So let's just go over here to groups. And by the way, this is your home page. Click on groups. Right here at the top, you can see it says create group. It's as simple as clicking on that. Give the group a name. You can add a few members here. You can decide on the privacy, whether it's open, and what open means is anyone can see the group, who's in it, and what members post in there. So basically, open, it's wide open. Uh, closed is anyone that can see the group and who's in it, but only members of the group can see the actual post. So that's if you kind of want to tease your group. It's like, let other people know it exists, but they have to actually become a member and you approve them before they, put, uh, before they can see the content in it. Or you can do it as a secret society where nobody knows the group exists unless you or somebody from the group invites them to the group. So I'm just going to create this one as closed. Facebook does its little magic, puts all these little icons together for you. Since I use the word rock, let's just pick out the guitar icon here. That just makes total sense, doesn't it? And the next thing you know, I've got a group here, and it's going to list the members' pictures up here. Now you always have the ability to go up here and upload a photo. So if I wanted to put some kind of, uh, you know, fancy photo or something like that that I've got on my computer, then I could put that across the uh, top there as my, basically like a timeline photo. Let's see what we do have here, though. There we go. So we got to put the banner up here, and it's doing its little thing, talking. All the little Facebook elves are working in the background. You can hear them banging their hammers. They're just talking back there. You can hear satellites syncing up. Beep. All these like alien sounds going down and Facebook is doing its thing uploading this picture here You'd think for a company that's valued at 10 times what it's really worth that it would uh, pick up uh, Pictures a little bit quicker than that, but hey, who am I to judge? So I'm going to move this over here and uh, Actually save changes there. So this will be the cover photo across the top there as people come into this group and uh, Then you can add people to the group here and here's a suggestion with Facebook groups. Uh, don't add people that really aren't going to be uh, beneficial to the group. Don't add people that you don't know. Don't try to build a list by adding people. That is complete spam. Use these groups in the way that you can use for your, your cause, to help you sell stuff, whatever it is that you're using the groups for. But don't just add people and try to build this massive list. Allow people to want to join your group. Let them opt in just like you would want them to opt in on your website. But until you get about 100 members, you can also send everybody that's a member of the group a quick email as long as you're the administrator. So you can start a chat with them or send them an email. So for example, if an event is about to start, you could send everybody up to 50 people uh, a quick reminder. Also, you can add events. So if you're going to do a specific event within your Facebook group, you can go back here, uh, create an event just like you do on Facebook for anything else. And then this event, depending on the privacy settings of your group, will only be shared with people of your group and they will be reminded as well. Uh, you can also upload files and things of that nature documents, all that good stuff. I'll give you an example of one of my completed groups here that a small amount of us are in. And see, I have all these files loaded up here in the back. And so groups have a lot of uh, benefit on Facebook. It's a way to, if you want to keep your circle small and really communicate certain things or share certain ideas with people, uh, groups are just the way to do that. And like I said, don't spam people or invite a bunch of people to your group that you don't know. Only use them for whatever purpose it is that you all agreed on. So, hey, share this with people that you know, because uh, groups are a great way to keep things super personal, especially if you're doing causes or, like I said, trying to get people to conspire to help you sell your stuff. So sh share this with the people you know. Put this video on Facebook, this blog post on LinkedIn, Google+, Plus, all those great places. And don't forget to sign up uh, for one of our services on the right. You get a free strategy session, or you can just sign up to uh, get notifications every time we put out kick-ass blog posts like this. So in the meantime, thanks again. Have a great rest of the week, day, evening, night, morning, whenever the hell you're watching this, and I'll catch you on the next one.